We're here today with our friends from United We Slide, and we're going to be installing some Dynan high flow throttle bodies on our E46 M3. Thank you to United We Slide for locating these for us. It's cleanup time. Go ahead and plug your intake holes and get your carb cleaner, spray off, and get everything nice and clean so that you can eat off it. Take your gaskets and put them on the manifold. With your gaskets on, you can set the throttle bodies on. Make sure you're paying attention to that fuel line. All right, first try. <laughs> Just back here, I can't see it. Lined up now? So now just line up the studs. When you do this, make sure everything's out of the way. Let's make sure your gaskets didn't fall off. Oh, they're all still there. Oh. You're almost on your studs. These are lined up back there, I think. That one's on, hold on. This back one. Here. All right, that's it. With the throttle bodies in place, you need to bolt them down. Get out your torque wrench. We're gonna torque the throttle bodies down to 89 inch pounds. Once again, for these top ones, get your magnet and your socket. And then you get your socket driver in. And there you go. Next, this clip needs to go onto the fuel line and it'll come at it right under here. So this clip will go in this face up and it's gonna go onto the hard line portion of that fuel line. And there's that clip installed. You can see it goes just on that lip. So it holds it in place. Go in here. Line up your injectors and then pop them in and you'll hear them all click. You can double check from this side to make sure your injector plugs all lined up and you can actually see if the clips popped and all ours are good. You can pop the wire back into that clip. Then you can take your three 10 millimeters and bolt this on here and then this vacuum line will attach right over here. that bolted on, you can get your vacuum line, <coughs> pop it on right there. With that vacuum line on, you can get this vacuum line attached here. Okay, double check your work. You got your vacuum lines on and attached. Make sure you attach your throttle lever. Come over here, use your two tens, put your idle air control reattach this hose and then if you did remove this 10 millimeter over here for the fuel line go ahead and reattach it too plug this plug back in and now we're ready to put our manifold air box in those two tins earlier that the air box goes on to that's them right there
So with the air box back in, the first thing you want to do is rotate these hose clamps so that the linkage doesn't run into them and get caught and cause you any problems. Now on the air box itself, make sure you get the hose that's on the bottom all the way in there. I can't really show you. And then you get this hose attached here. And remember, that one attaches just like this hose up here. Just squeeze it and pop it on. So with those two tins attached, you can plug this vacuum line in, take your dipstick, bolt it back to the air box, plug in your TPS, and then reattach the crank case vent. Double check yourself, make sure nothing hits when you run the throttle, reattach the brackets back here, make sure this is down, then you can put your air cleaner back up. With your air filter back in, plug in the MAF, put all your plastics, plug all your wires back in, put your strut tower in, and you're good to go.